what in the world is primitive technology and why in the world is it so fun? Well, I'm going to be answering all those questions and more in this week's video. Anyways, guys, let's before it begins, uh, we're just going to say thank you for all my subscribers for subscribing. It really helps me out, and I'd really, really appreciate it if you'd subscribe as well. Anyways, guys, let's get on with the video. So primitive technology is uh, the technology that cavemen used, like fires, and uh, and 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 fires and shelters and traps and all that sort of stuff that'll keep you alive in the wilderness. But how do you survive in the wilderness? Well, in my binging on tics, tips of how to survive in the wilderness, I found out that there are five pillars to surviving in the wilderness. The first one being water, then shelter, then food, then temperature. Because you want to stay warm or not too warm or you'll die. And, uh, yeah... <laughs> Now, for the first one, you want to purify your water because then you'll get a bunch of parasites and stuff if you don't purify and filter your water. You can just buy a life straw off of eBay and then you just collect the water with this little baggy thingy that comes along with it. And then you tie it and then you put it into the life straw and then you put it into like this pot or whatever whatever thing that you can drink out of with you that you have on you and you can just you can you can you can you can, you can filter and purify the water you know you know so happily dandy you know you know now uh for shelter what you'd probably want to do is you probably would like to you know like and try and like make like a shelter a little a little hut or like a little teepee or something like that there's lots of tutorials online and i'm and i'm i'm a beginner too at this stuff and i'm not sure how to explain this stuff so you can go you can go and search that up after you watch this now for food if you're going on a survival trip, bring with you a fishing rod because those will be very useful for you to catch fish, you know, take out the bones and, you know, eat it. Also, dandelions are also very, very edible. Your body actually can digest and eat dandelions. Uh, now, dandelions are actually a bit on the disgusting side. They are very, very bitter, and, um, if you're able to eat them, it'll probably not be enough calories to sustain you for very long, so I suggest catching fish is probably one of your best bets. Now, the fourth is actually fire, my bad, um, but fire, you see, isn't really the best option if you're just going for a small little thing that... You're not going to be surviving in for like a couple days or something. You're not going to you're just going to be surviving in for like less than a day, let's say. Then I suggest not making any fires cuz you might burn down some stuff and uh don't don't do that. Just don't. Please don't. But if you are in a survival situation, then do that. Yeah. Now, the fifth pillar is where you can start making living there a bit more comfortable. Maybe adding some chairs, tables, benches, maybe out of wood that you find. Or maybe just making, like, a stove or something. Something like that, you know? Just, like, little decorations and stuff. Stuff that isn't really needed, but it'll help you thrive in your environment and not just survive. Now, that actually can all be described as primi primitive technology. Now, building a shelter is also primitive technology. And I think the reason why 
we find why I find it so fun to do this stuff is that people back our ancestors back in the day they had to enjoy this stuff so that they would do it more often and get a get a better life to like reproduce more and basically keep the species going entirely and keep the person alive and happy to do what they are doing some of the materials that you may use to basically build are rock wood and mud the mud is basically like a pottery to basically make pottery and stuff and cups and stuff like that the wood being to make some bigger stuff like housing and stuff and the stone to make sharper stuff like st stone axes or stone swords or stone shovels anything like that in nature um so me and my friend one day went out and six feet apart we made a teepee or at least we tried to see we underestimated how hard this was going to be in the environment that we put ourselves in we didn't go into a forest we weren't allowed to go that far we just went into this um this place that we call we'll call the the place with the a bit of trees in it but it's not a forest no definitely isn't a forest but we went there and we tried to build a teepee on this little plain area spoiler alert, it didn't go so well we found some dead trees because we didn't want to we want to harm anything that's living though that was living and stuff we didn't want to we didn't want to mess with any of that you know keep the keep the earth happy you know uh so we got some trees and we got like we got some dead stuff like on the ground and we started building and then we realized we were not going to be able to fit in this like at all uh and then we used grass to support it and that did not work either and basically we just it failed <laughs> So, but me and my dad, we went to this place that was, it had a lot of sticks, and it was very, very suitable for building, and there was this, there's these hills that dropped into a hole, and there was a log connecting them too, so we put a bunch of sticks on the two sides of the um of the of the log and we basically made a little fort thing and yeah that was and that was and that was a pretty successful one now do i recommend trying out primitive technology sometime trying to build something that our ancestors built yes yes i do as long as it isn't anything to do with fire because that's illegal. Alright guys, that'll be the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Be safe out there because of the virus and... Peace!